Hello everyone. My name is Subhita Jongpeng Mathanapol, and my colleague Sasa Song Panthanakrit Jalanchai. Welcome to our project two on the ITCS 343 Principles of Operating System course, where we will be discussing the topic of network file systems. In this video, we will dive into these topics. So for now, let's get started with what is NFS. In the context of file systems, a network file system is a network abstraction over a file system that allows a remote client to access it over a network in a similar way to a local file system. This enables system administrators to share all or a portion of a file system in a network server, making it accessible to remote computer users. NFS was originally developed by Sun Microsystems in the 1980s and has since been implemented on a wide range of operating systems. It uses remote procedural calls to route requests between clients and servers and is an application layer protocol, meaning that it can operate over any transport or network protocol stack. NFS often implemented on system running the TCP IP protocol suite, and its original intention was to create a simple and stateless protocol for distributed file system sharing by enabling remote access to share file system. NFS allows for greater collaboration and resource sharing across networks, and also can improve the efficiency of file system management for system administrators. And next, the client-server architecture of NFS. NFS follows the client-server model of computing. The server implements the shared file system and storage to which clients attach. The clients implement the user interface to share file system mounted within client's local file space. So in short, the NFS system consists of three components server the server exports one or more directories to be shared with the clients client the client machine mounts the exported directories from the server and accesses the files as if they were local protocol the nfs protocol is used to facilitate communication between the server and client machines and next my colleague will discuss about how NFS works and its advantages and disadvantages. I'm so my kids are shy. Now let's move on to the next topic. How does NFS work? And you see the picture explaining how NFS work. Let's go through the step of how it works. For the first step, the client requests access to a file or directory located on the server. The server checks if the client has permission to access the files or directory and respond with the request data if permission is granted. The data is transmitted from the server to the client over the network using the NFS protocol. The client receives the data and can list, write, or modify the file as needed. When the client has finished accessing the files, it can either close the file or continue to hold it, open the first use. If the client needs to access another files on the same server, it can do so without having the re authenticate with the server as long as it has permission to access the new files. Next is about the benefits of network file system. Among many benefits of organizing Using NFS, the following measures, NFS is a major protocol which means most aspect of implementing, securing, and using is as well understood as its potential weakness. Open network file system is a more open protocol which is continual development document in internet specification as a free and open network protocol. Cost effective. Network file system is a low cost solution for network file sharing that is easy to set up because it's your existing network infrastructure. Centrally managed. 
that will facilitate central management disease the needs of as software and this based on the individual user system. User friendly, the protocol is easy to use and enable users to access remote file or remote host in the same way they access local one. Distribute network file system can be used as distribute file, reduce the needs of removable media system. Secure with network file system that is less removable media like CD, DVD, and USB drive. Next is a disadvantage of network file system. Some of drawback of using network file system include the following: dependent on RPC, make network file system inherent insecure, and should only be used on a trust network behind a firewall. Some review of network file system version four and version four point one suggests that this version has a limited bandwidth and scalability. And thank you for your attention.